It used to be that every 2D platformer needed some kind of cartoon hero to appeal to the masses. From an animal, to a robot, to a one-time plumber, every game revolved around a cool character that was easy to market. I wonder what people would have thought of Inc. in 1992. This is a game that controls a lot like those old-school platformers, but instead of giving us the typical talking animal, we're left with an emotionless box. I suspect the me of 25 years ago would have been thoroughly confused and left wondering why I wasn't playing an ink-squirting squid with an attitude problem. Look, I was an idiot in 1992. Ink is a simple platformer with an inventive gimmick. In theory, this game plays out exactly like Super Meat Boy, where the whole goal is to double jump your way through an obstacle course and make it to the exit in one piece. But here's the catch. You can't see the obstacle course. We start out in a room that's completely blank. There's literally nothing you can see except for the navy blue background and our boxy hero. But every time you move around or jump, we squirt a little ink and fill in the platforms. The idea is to carefully fill in the obstacles enough to dodge them and safely make it to the exit. This task is made a little easier when you realize that once you've inked part of the level, it'll stay highlighted no matter how many times you die. Ideally, this makes every attempt at the level a little easier than the last. But even when you can see the spikes, the enemies, and the bottomless pits in your path, you still need to avoid them. That's easier said than done. Like most platformers, Ink does a good job of adding to the challenge from one level to the next. We start out simply needing to make harrowing jumps, but it won't take long before we're bouncing off bad guys in order to unlock the exit. You'll also need to keep track of moving platforms and closing walls that are looking to squish our little box. It's a lot of stuff we've seen before in countless other platformers, but not being able to see the obstacles adds an exciting new wrinkle. The problem is that a lot of the more challenging levels reward trial and error tactics. I started to wonder if making everything invisible was an artificial way to turn moderately difficult courses into punishing platforming puzzles. That may not be the case, but it was a feeling I couldn't shake as I made my way through the 75 stages. My other big problem with Ink is that the handling is a little loose. The box does a lot of slipping around, which can be a little frustrating when you're trying to land on small platforms. I was usually able to get out of the messes thanks to the wall and double jumps, but I constantly found myself wanting the gameplay to be a bit more precise. On the other hand, I was happy that Ink comes with a few boss fights that go a long way to mix things up. These battles are usually little more than memorizing a pattern and taking advantage of a brief moment of weakness but they're a nice change of pace that reminds me that not enough modern platformers offer boss fights. My only real issue with them is that there aren't enough of these boss encounters. Ink takes a genre we're all familiar with and gives it a fresh coat of paint by turning everything invisible. While that may sound frustrating, it actually makes for a charming new platformer at a reasonable price. I do wish the gameplay was a bit tighter and there was a little more variety in the obstacles, but fans of the genre won't feel let down by the inventive stage designs. It's hard to see at first, but Ink is worth playing. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So here's the question of the day. What do you want to see from new platformers? I touched on it a bit in my review, but I want to see more bosses. Maybe a platformer where the whole thing is boss fights. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. In other news, I just posted my review of The Coma Recut, a brand new horror game set in a Korean school. I'm also hard at work on More Fight, Senko no Ronde 2, and more. I recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.